Major funding for NJN News is made possible by grants from the Geraldine R. Dodge Foundation, which believes that an informed citizenry leads to a healthy democracy. BSENG, committed to serving customers, strengthening the business community, and investing in New Jersey's future. First Union serves the financial needs of individuals and businesses from Connecticut to Florida. HIP Health Plan of New Jersey, dedicated to providing quality health care to employees of large and small businesses, as well as individuals for two decades. And by Bell Atlantic, the heart of communication, in partnership with public television, serving to inform, enlighten, and educate the citizens of New Jersey. From NJN, the New Jersey Channel, the Emmy Award-winning NJN News with Kent Manahan, Dick Forney with Business, and Jerry Henry with Sports. Convicted former Somerset County Prosecutor Nicholas Bissell is declared a fugitive. Good evening. The former top lawman is now on the lam after leaving what the U.S. attorney calls a suicide note. Bissell's flee from justice comes as he faces sentencing on Wednesday on a variety of criminal charges. Michael Aaron is standing by outside of Bissell's home in Montgomery Township with more on this breaking story. Michael? Kent, Nick Bissell was under house arrest here at his home. After his conviction last May, federal judge Alfred Lechner sent him to prison for a few days to give him a taste of it, then released him on a $300,000 bond, but ordered him not to leave the house except to go to church, to visit his doctor or see his lawyer. But he's gone now, and wherever he is, he's not wearing the monitor federal authorities were using to keep track of him. From justice. At approximately noon today, a federal arrest warrant was issued for the arrest of Nicholas Bissell after federal agents found that the electronic monitoring device that he had worn 24 hours a day since his conviction this past May had been cut and left on a kitchen counter. And next to that electronic device, authorities found what Hotchberg described as a suicide note from Bissell to his attorney, Donald Belsol. It's a very short note and simply uh, expresses his own desire uh, to be in control of his own fate. Bissell was the county prosecutor for 13 years before his downfall. He was convicted of skimming money from this gas station he owned, cheating his partner, cheating the IRS, and various abuses of his office. Implicated in the scheme was his second wife, Barbara, who was convicted with him. Bissell could have gotten her off easy if he'd pled guilty. Instead, they stood trial together and were due to be sentenced together this Wednesday. The government seeking 10 years for the ex-prosecutor, two to three years for his wife. Hotchberg said a recent psychiatric evaluation gave no indication that Bissell might flee. That evaluation concluded that he posed no risk to himself or to others and that he was not suicidal. On that basis, he was released on a very high bail. At the Bissell's house this afternoon, no one was home. Barbara Bissell's whereabouts are known to the U.S. Attorney, but Nick Bissell is the subject of an all-out search. Well, Every police officer in the state of New Jersey is looking for him. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm not surprised. Why? A uh, man of his power uh, finally probably realized that everything was going to be stripped from him, and, and probably a big mistake was letting him live at house arrest. But his next-door neighbor, who likes him a lot, is surprised. He was taking everything, you know, uh, you know, without being angry. And uh, I guess he just couldn't bear it at the end. Turn yourself in. It's the best thing you can do for yourself and for your family. We will not stop until we find Nicholas Bissell. Now, we have two unconfirmed reports that Barbara Bissell is in the house right now. Someone arrived here around 5 o'clock and was hustled inside. We're told it was Barbara Bissell. As for her husband, the U.S. attorney says he has no passport and really not that much money anymore. That means that unlike David Friedland, the New Jersey state senator who fled this country in the 1980s and was captured on an island in South Asia, Nick Bissell probably can't flee the country. The FBI is asking anyone to be on the asking the public to be on the lookout for Nick Bissell's vehicle, which is a 1995 green Jeep Cherokee, license plate SNB1. They're also asking anyone with information to call the FBI at 201-622. 5613. This is Michael Aaron reporting from outside Nick Bissell's home in Montgomery Township. Back to you, Ken. Thank you, Michael. In other news,